I'm content creator Corey Walmsley. I empower women entrepreneurs by sharing book writing and publishing solutions on my show, Page Turner Studio with Corey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Page Turner Studio with Corey. I'm your host, Corey Walmsley. I'm the CEO of Aurora Corealis Publishing, an author of 10 books, and I'm a writing coach. And today we're going to be talking about how to sell with your story with business strategy coach Chrissy Chin. And I'm very excited to bring her on because I know she's got some really great tips for you guys today. Um, first, though, I did want to mention that my newest book is out, The Treasures We Seek. This is a novel about a woman who is discovering some things about herself that after she's been through some really awful crap, she's needing to heal and figure out how to move forward with her life. And she does so on an archaeological dig in Italy. So there's a lot of fun stuff going on in here. And yes, she does finally heal and move forward. But you got to find out what happens by picking up the book. Um, also, I know everybody here is thinking about writing a book of your own. So make sure you grab one of our journals. This is just one example of the beautiful journals we have. Um, these are, uh, they feature paintings that my daughter and I did. This is one of mine. And they're 200 pages long. They fit in your purse or your car. So it's great to bring that along with you. First, um, <laughs> or I guess second, uh, we're going to introduce Chrissy. She is a number one Amazon bestselling author, podcast host, business strategy coach and consultant for those who want to get their business online and sell while they sleep. And I think that everybody wants to do that, right? So we're going to get some great tips from her today. So welcome, Chrissy. Hello, I'm so oh. Hi. Hello, I'm so excited to be here, Corey. Yeah, thank you for joining me today. It's great to have you. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, I wanted to kick things off by talking about your book. And this is Sell While You Sleep, which is the perfect title. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Everyone loves it. I'm like, all right, I nailed the title. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about it. Yeah. So really, this book has just come from a lot of years of trial and error in business. And, you know, the tagline of it or the subtitle is turn your knowledge into an automated online business and create a life of freedom. So really, when I set out in this entrepreneurial journey, it was how can I have more free time? and bring in more revenue for the family or, you know, more income for the family yeah. and realized quickly that I was working like a dog, just doing all of the things. And while I wanted it to free up time to have more time with my family and with my new son at the time, I was working all the time. And I was like, I have got to figure out something that's more efficient, more streamlined, more systemized. And it just, you know, long, long story short, turned into launching a digital offer um, where we created marketing material for a very niche audience and sold it in a membership type platform. And we grew that business to 6,000 members at its highest peak. Wow. And, you know, people were joining while I was sleeping. And I was like, this is literally the dream. And this, and that was just the, the moment where I realized it's actually possible to sell while you sleep and it can be done in a really simplified manner. And if I can do it, literally anybody can do it. And that's where the second brand started um, and launched KNC Creative, where now we teach people how to take their knowledge, their experience, their expertise, their skills, and turn it into an offer to sell while they sleep is, is the, you know, the idea, the long-term goal. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Um, so you started teaching people how to do that. What made you want to write a book then to, uh, to be able to do the same thing? I've always wanted to be an author. I don't know why exactly. It's just always been on my bucket list. And if you look at my notes app on my phone, I think there's probably seven book ideas started on there from years ago. And it was like, maybe I'm going to write a book on branding, or maybe I'm going to write a book on, you know, this or that. And, you know, just as I've gotten more into my business and, and, been solid on who I serve, how I serve them. And I have a business partner. So I guess how we serve them. Mm -hmm. um, it really made sense that, okay, this is what the book needs to be out, uh, be about mm -hmm. for my audience, for the people that are wanting to learn from me as just another also really consumable way to learn. Some people love books and yeah. just holding it in their hand and reading and flipping the pages. And so it just made sense that a book was that next step. Also, you know, from a business strategy perspective, being an author definitely, you know, sets you apart from everyone else out there teaching the same thing that's not an author. So, you know, with wanting to speak on stages or be on more podcasts or be in the media, a book also made sense to mm -hmm. just progress, you know, being that thought leader in that space. 
I love that. I need to capture that sound clip and just send that out all the time because it's the same exact thing I keep telling people. A book is a great way to reach another audience to be able to grow your business and demonstrate your expertise. And I, I will tell you, it, it it has happened. People are just coming out of the woodwork, you yeah. know, messaging me, hey, can I bring you on the podcast? So-and-so said you had a new book out. Um, you know, I was on, on the Kajabi podcast. And yeah. yes, just yesterday, I have some systems set up to where people can share a picture that they just grabbed the book on yeah. their social media. And I had someone share it and I had no idea who he was. And I reached out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, how did you here and he goes i heard you on a podcast and so i bought your yeah. book um and i was like oh my gosh okay per like i sold while i slept or maybe while i was walking the dog or playing with the kids or you know whatever yeah. um and you know but it's just because having this book being able to get in front of audiences and it's you know what i had hoped it would do is happening so yes if you've had a desire to write a book <laughs> you know i highly recommend it's a lot of work but i uh, highly recommend doing it yeah i love that Thank you for sharing all of that. That was great. Yeah. So I want to share your impactful page turner share. Even though the market may feel crowded and you may think it will be impossible to stand out or sell your offer when there are so many out there selling similar things, you have something unique that no one else has. And I know you elaborated a little on this about talking about, you know, your story is the is one of the unique pieces um, before the show when we were talking. So tell me a little bit more about this. Yeah, I mean, we can all teach on something or if you're in, you know, you're selling a product, maybe someone else is selling the same product as you. But the one thing that no one else has are your unique story, your unique experiences, your unique personality, your unique energy. I mean, even identical twins that are born have different experiences, have different personalities. Some are just night and day and no one else has that. And so you could be talking about the same topic, selling the same product, but all of those things, your story, your experiences, your personality, your energy make you completely different and allow you to stand out. And look, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. You know, you might not be everyone's cup of tea, but that's why also it's so important to put yourself out there because the other person that seems like they have cornered the marketplace and are doing the thing, not everybody likes their style right. and not everybody can learn and apply um, using that style. And so your unique process and everything you have to offer is really needed in this space. So don't let that discourage you if you think, Everyone else is teaching, you know, how to knit sweaters or right. <laughs> you know, whatever it might be. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Your story is unique and we all come from a different perspective. And even, even if you are raised in the same household, that's so true. So I want to share your being a page turner tip done is better than perfect. If I hadn't been living out my motto, this book would have never made it to your bookshelf. Tell me about this one. Yeah, this is one that I have been implementing from the beginning and I constantly find myself still living in this motto, which is the only reason why I'm here. Um, done is better than perfect. Even if you're not a perfectionist, which I know many of you listening or watching are, uh, we can find ourselves in these perfectionist moments. I don't consider myself a perfectionist, but even there are even times where I am like, procrastinating, right? Like maybe you're writing a book, procrastinating in finishing up the outline or finishing up the chapters or actually publishing. And it's because we're like, well, we want it to be perfect. We don't want to put ourselves out there unless it's perfect. But the truth is it will never be perfect. And if you wait for perfection, it will never happen. And so you have to just accept that maybe your 80% is going to be good enough. And to someone else, they're going to perceive that as 100%. Like there are things in here already that I'm like, oh, I would love to tweak that, you know? So for me, it's like, it's 80%. But for when I just ran a book club, everyone's like, this book was amazing. It was super yeah. helpful. So for them, you know, it's good enough. And so I think just operating from that mentality of done is better than perfect. Because if I don't do it, I won't be able to put it out there and I can't change lives you know, if it's not out there and I can't generate the income that I want if it's not out there. So just remember that if you're like in this cycle of like, why am I not doing this? Why am I procrastinating? Just remember and have me on your shoulder. Done is better than perfect. And it's good enough to get started and you can always improve it later. Yes, I love that. And I think authors are 
at least a lot of the authors I've worked with are famous for getting all the way through writing and then screeching the brakes right at the end and going, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't do this. Um, it, which reminds me of <laughs> um, when I was having my first child, it was like I was pregnant and I'm growing this baby and all of a sudden my water broke. And I remember I stood there and I just went, I don't know what to do. And I had this horrible panic. Like I'm about to become a mom. Yeah. But what, what am I doing? This is yeah. insane. And it's like everything blanked out all the stuff that I had learned. And I had to look at the people around me and be like, all right, I'm supported. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be fine. And I think that that's an important thing for authors to remember, like when you're working on your book, yes, it feels like, okay, you're stuck in this place all by yourself working on the book, but you need to have a team. You need to bare minimum have some great friends who are going to share about the book. You need to have an editor who's going to go through the book and say, yes, this is good. <laughs> yes, let's get this moving. And that's something I usually have to do for my authors too, is to go, okay, it'll be all right. Yes. You will survive becoming an author. Yes, 100%. Get yourself a team. <laughs> so I wanted to share um, the turn the page with Corey tip. Your personality should come through in the way you share. If you're fun, serious, woo-woo, blunt, whatever, let it shine. Is there something special that you did to make sure that your personality was coming through in the book? Um, I actually used a talk to text method to write majority of the book. And oftentimes it was when I was driving to the lake house. And so I would just find myself in that quiet space where I could really just be with myself and my thoughts. And I would just talk. I would talk to te talk to text in my notes section and I'd have to go back and clean it up. But that really allowed my voice to come out. And people have said that when they're reading, they're like, it's like I'm sitting in the room with you and we're having a conversation. And that's what I really wanted to um, have come out. Um, and then sometimes when I would just get like this fiery energy, when I would just be like, you know, in this special place where I wasn't afraid to really be who I am and say what I really felt, I would write it down. And, you know, then I'd go back and look and be like, Oh, do I really want to say that? But that, that allowed me to bring out some more of my personality, um, in the book. So that was, that was what helped me. Yeah. I love that tip. And I think that's really helpful, especially for people who get intimidated by their own voice when they're typing, um, to be able to just speak it makes you so much more comfortable because, you know, especially if you're a speaker or especially if you're used to talking to people, that's going to be so much easier. So thank you for sharing that one. Yeah. So I want to share the make an impact tip with Corey. The pieces of your story that are most important to share are the ones that connect with your audience. And that can be your big story, like the big one, like this is why I'm here. Or it can be parts of your everyday life. Are these things that you ended up sharing in your book? Yes, they did. I have a very vulnerable chapter in the book. Um, really, you know, our business grew and grew and grew for three years, multiple millions in revenue. And then post pandemic, you know, pandemic all seemed to be great for all these online spaces. And then after that, took a dip. And I share this story in the process. And I haven't been able to read the chapter like without tears still, like because it just takes me right back into that space of where I was. And so I do, I get really vulnerable um, in that space. But in doing that, the people that have read it, they're like, that was my most favorite part of the book yeah. because I was honest, I was truthful, I was raw, and they just really, really connected with it. Yeah, I love that. And I think that so many people can relate even if they didn't have a dip after the pandemic as business owners we've all seen ups and downs so mm -hmm. sharing that really makes you into like a real person who's not perfect mm -hmm. and it helps people understand like yeah she's been there and she gets me so yeah. i love that absolutely Thank you for sharing that well i really appreciate you being on today you gave us so many great tips thanks corey this has been so incredible and i hope that the people listening can connect with me um elsewhere yeah yeah, definitely um, connect with her. And I know you had a freebie too. Yeah. So um, one of the our favorite free freebies is turn your knowledge into profit. So it's taking you from this idea, maybe that you have um, knowledge or experience, and you're like, how do I monetize this? It's really helping you get clear on that and mm -hmm. really give you the steps to actually turn it into a business and how you could potentially launch that in just three weeks. So you can go to kncreative.com forward slash profit. That's awesome. And we're going to put that in the show notes too. So you guys can click over to that because that sounds like an amazing freebie. So thank you again for being on and I'm going to send Chrissy to the green room. We'll wrap up.
That was another great episode of Page Turner Studio with Corey. Be sure to join me every Wednesday. We're on at 7 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Central, or if you're like me in the Eastern part of the United States, 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, be sure to join us live, but you can always catch all our episodes on YouTube. And we will have another great guest next week. So have a Page Turner's day. You can learn more about my services and products at auroracorealispublishing.com. Make sure to join me every week on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts.